what's up guys and welcome back to the channel got another one for you today battery battery action all right let's have this discussion um harley fans i know you only stick to harley products sometimes you gotta step outside the box <laughs> harley battery 400 cranking amps Advan Black. Advan Black has been has been showing out lately. They came out with their new lithium uh, ion battery. I just got a hold of it. Um, really wanted to try it out, and for a couple of reasons, my bike is a high compression engine. Okay, means it's a little it takes a little more to start that bike. So the cranking amps are important to me, and I want the bike to start fast. I don't want it to slow lag and start. I want it to start just like a either factory bike or faster and in this case i went for faster like i said it's a thousand cranking amps and it's a lithium battery now i haven't even opened it up yet i don't know how to open it up yet and we're going to open this thing up together all right let me let me take a chance let me no nope. nope yep nope yep okay almost i mean how many sides can it be i think i got it guys i think i got it boom it's this side and this is the top. All right, let me show you what we got in here. Papers, owner's manual, sticker. Thank you, Pan Van Black. But let's go for the gusto. Hey man, hey, this battery actually pretty light. Um, I knew, sorry. I knew this battery was gonna be light. Um. That was one reason for running this battery. Now, not to say that I would be getting a big difference in my performance of my bike, but every little bit helps. I mean, just for the purpose of me buying it, I mean, for, for their selling purpose, their selling strategy, a lighter battery is always better than a heavy battery. Now, yay! <laughs> trust me when I tell you this fucking battery's heavy, excuse my French, because when I tried to take this battery out, the strap was not under it. Now, if you've never taken a battery out of a Harley, you got to understand this. There's about this much space on either side, and I'm talking about knuckle. That's all you probably have. Now, what they do is they run a strap under the bottom of the battery so you can pull the strap, which will help pull the battery up. Um, that didn't have it. It was all the way down at the bottom. Somebody, whoever took the battery out before, probably forgot, threw the battery down in there, and it all got bunched up together. So, first things first, two-year warranty, thousand cranking amps. Guys, I showed you um, how the bike sounds when it starts with the Harley battery. Let me turn this Harley battery around for you guys so you can see the front. But there we go. Now, I do have a scale. My scale is scaled up for 90 pounds. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on there. Hold on, let me make sure I got, make sure we zeroed out, baby. Come on, zero out. There we go. Got it set for pounds. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it, but I'm going to tell you what it's going to say. Mind you, I don't know. There's your battery. Woo! 20 pounds. So imagine trying to pick up 20 pounds with your fingers. We clear. We're going to put this battery on top. I'm going to stand up real quick. 6.6 pounds. Going from 20 pounds to 6.6, .6, that's damn near 14 pounds, man. That's two horsepower. Every seven unsprung pounds of weight is one horsepower. So we just gained two horsepower on top of that. Now, we won't see it on the dyno. We'll see it out there on the road. But, oh, a nice looking battery. Thousand cranking ups, two year warranty. Two year warranty is important because I think you might only get a year's warranty from the born date on a stock Harley battery. Mind you, I've only had this battery in, in, in my bike a year. Um, it's gone dead on me several times because I have a sound system, but it's a little bit more than the average sound system, so it will draw more power if the bike's off and you're just playing subwoofers and, 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 and you know, six speakers. My four speaker setup, I had no problem. As soon as I added two more, bigger amp, that type of deal, you're going to need more, more cranking apps. Now, Speaking of, if you do have a sound system, guys, I would not rely on this battery to get you where you want to be. Um, 
Those are also lithium batteries. Let's say for instance, the Braille battery. It's a $600 battery. Now this one's around 350 or something like that. Um, that Braille battery is around $600. Now the reason why I didn't buy a Braille battery, which is still a lithium, is built just like this, uh, is because I thought it was kind of pointless for me to only use it for sound when I don't play my sound system like that. That's for somebody who's sitting in the parking lot, drawing a lot of power, can play it and play it and play it, and then start the bike up and go home. Now, I've noticed a lot of guys, they will start their bikes up every five minutes to keep their batteries from going dead. Now, I never bring anything to this channel that I don't think you guys will actually need or will actually see that is a problem in the future if you're doing some of the things that I do. If you guys remember a few videos back that I did bring a jump pack uh, uh, starting system. That was the jump pack that I had to carry around when I was running my six-speaker setup because just in case I needed to jump it off, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm way out in the middle of nowhere or I'm way out in an event and I want to show off a little bit. That's the, that's really was the purpose. But then I said, look, I can't be cheap. I can't be cheap. I got to do it right. So reached out to Adman Black, got a battery. Here we are today. Two things, two most scariest things that can happen to you when you're out of town flat tire or dead battery those kill a trip every time um especially when you know you have stops to make and your bike is not even running on real battery right now it's borrowing time you're going to need something upgraded now let's look at the size Ugh. oh i don't even want to lift this joker ah, there we go about the same about the same height about the same everything let's turn back to back and a factory Harley battery is, uh, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference in size with the two. But what you do tell is the weight difference, man. And this is one of those small, compact 20 pounds. It's not like a, a evenly, you know, evenly distributed 20 pounds because if if I were to try, like I, like I said, when I was trying to pick this battery up from the top with just my fingers, giving it this kind of power, it was hard. I had to try and figure out two hand method and get it done. But this one is no no issue. I mean, I'm I'm. You can see. I can't I can't make that up, guys. I'm, I'm not a weak guy. I'm not weak. But <laughs> this battery was kicking my ass today. So, guys, we're gonna put this battery in and we're going to uh, start it so we can hear the difference. Now, before I start showing you guys how to put battery back in, now it does have a. Um, a voltage and a voltage meter on the top it will tell you how much where you're sitting at okay ah don't forget we gotta open that up too so i'm gonna click one of these buttons i mean what i'm gonna click that one we're at 13.3 already this battery will do a little bit more once we get it uh under load from the bike let's see what we got in here okay charger triple charger Power box charge is what they're calling it. Guys, there it is. Remember, you would have to take your old trickle charger off and put the new trickle charger on, which would probably be this, because you cannot run the Harley trickle charger for a lead acid battery on a uh, lithium battery. It won't work. They're two different worlds. Uh, don't try it. I don't know what the bad things that can happen, but I do know maybe it just won't even work. But one thing I don't mess with is batteries and taking chances because I've always heard of exploding batteries. So we're not going to do that. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and drop this battery in. We're going to start it up. We'll see how it sounds. See how quick it sounds. All right. Let's see how the stop battery sounds. Just kind of pay attention to how long it takes to actually start the bike. It's going to be very quick, but at the same time, if there's more cranking ups, it's even faster. Let's see what we got. Stop battery is not too too bad remember this is a year old battery so just imagine that year and a half that ten year that two year old battery so let's put the advent black battery in all right guys i'm gonna try and show you how to um take your battery apart now or take your battery out 
I have a lot of wires that may look a little funny. That's because I got stereo system, I got shifter, I got a bunch of other things in here. Yours probably does not have this many wires, but in case you do have a lot of wires, clear your wires from everything. You do not want wires being pulled out. You gotta know where everything is coming from. Um, actually, you have a computer on top, right guys? And you have this tray that the computer sits in to keep the computer from sliding and bumping and jumping all over the place. All you have to do is slide it forward, okay? You slide it forward and then the computer comes up. Now, I have something uh, grounded out on here, so I gotta be careful to not pull the wire out. Now we got the tray. The tray has to be removed by two screws right here. You'll have those, I already took mine out, and then the tray moves right out of the way, and then you get right to the battery, okay? Negative, positive. I'm not sure if you can see it because I'm in front of the camera and not behind it. Take these two out, pull this battery up, slap your other battery in, okay? Remove your seat. From the seat comes the computer, from the computer comes this tray. Any other little BS things you got going on there, Remove those, take them out of the way so you make sure you don't break any wires or pull any wires from the positive or the negative. So then when you get under there, you don't know what you're plugging back up. Woo. All right, so we got the battery installed. I put back everything, all the wiring is all back together. Everything is great. Now here comes the moment of truth. I want you guys to see, or you can tell me a difference, if you see a difference between the 1,000 cold cranking amps versus the 400 cold cranking amps for the Harley battery. Now, what I will tell you, remember, higher compression engines, so your 131s, your, your all those other type of engines, you kind of might think about upgrading the system because it is just that much better on everything as it's trying to start. All that rolling, everything inside that engine, this is much better. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. Mind you, I'm hoping I don't make myself look like a doofus, but here goes nothing. start pounding as soon as we got it done so guys shout out to Ant Man black for hooking me up with this battery i knew why i needed it um you guys who have those like i said a bigger engine take it into consideration don't make me look like a fool out here but two-year warranty on this battery gives you everything you need to replace all your old system can't ask for much more so guys i appreciate you joining don't forget to like Please, please, please subscribe. And until the next time, peace.